Alrighty, tutorial time. So, first things first, um, you're gonna go to the link down in the description below. You're gonna click on code and you're gonna download the zip. Once you download the zip, it will open like this. If you're using WinRAR, that is. Um, once you've seen this, you're gonna double click on the main, and double click on the release package, click on Arcus Touch Links. Now what you're gonna do is open SteamVR, go to your library, make sure that you show tools Click on SteamVR, Manage, Browse Local Files. Close out of SteamVR now. Okay, now, go to Drivers. Don't mind this, this is a backup. It's just that, that it works, you know. All right, what you do now is very simple. Take this and you drag it in there. Boom, you're done. You could start using it now. But if you use three controllers for trackers like me, you're going to have to do some pretty annoying steps. So you're gonna go back to the GitHub, GitHub page, all right? You're gonna go to the release package. The, you know, the, uh, let me, let me check first. Alrighty, this is, this is the developer, don't mind it. <laughs> um, awesome guy, by the way. So, you have to download two more things, which is kind of annoying. So you're gonna go to the Oculus Touch Link, all right? You're gonna go to the OVR test. In the OVR, OVR test, we're gonna go to the X64 release. I'm gonna get the uh, OVR test.exe. We're gonna click download. This is quite kind of important. All right. Do now is we're gonna see this OVR test here. We're gonna replace it. Now mine has the two in it, so don't mind that. Yours won't. It will ask you to replace. Click on yes. All right, over here test has been replaced. Now, this is kind of difficult. So again, now you have to go to custom HMD. You're gonna go again to release X64, and you're gonna see this driver for VR driver <laughs> driver touch link. Sorry. All right, it's gonna say like, oh no, DLL file. Windows doesn't like it. Don't no, just keep it. It's fine. All right, now you're gonna go to the Oculus Touch main root folder. You're gonna go to bin. Windows 64 or Win 64, like this. We'll drag it, drag and drop. Again, it has a one for me because I already did this. It will ask you to replace once again. Click yes. There we go. Now, what I also recommend doing, surprisingly, which does he didn't mention, is go to OVR Dummy. Also go to release and again, download the dot exe of the dummy. I know, right? So yeah, the dummy because the dummy has been updated as well for some reason. And you're good to go. You can close out of your Google Chrome. You can, um, I recommend getting the, uh, oh, this is another important step. Very important, very important. Hold on, let me, um, this, this is quite important as you can see here. So you're gonna wanna, if you use the, uh, the, the, the virtual desktop or like any, mainly if you use virtual desktop with a Quest 2, for example, um, these settings, I'm not sure, but as you can see, they will not work. So we're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to paste, get these settings. I'll put them in the description once again. You're gonna take these settings and we'll paste them in there. There you go. Test it. Normal. All right, that works. All right, good. All right. So um, what I recommend doing right now is control clicking both of these. Um, right click on them. If it wants to work, send to and create a desktop shortcut. And just place them somewhere like over here. All right. So what you're going to do now is it's, this is kind of annoying and important, but if you use three trackers, the VR object, turn them on. Let me.
All right, so have all your trackers. You will just press any button on the on, just like that. Now, if you're using a trick control for the hip, that's gonna be quite annoying. Oh, it did it once now. But if it says like connected, take out the battery and put the battery back in so it so shows a percentage. Otherwise, the the uh, the dummy will not like recognize the trick control. Alright, what you do now is, it's very simple. You just have to do this every time you start up SteamVR. First, you have to do it in order. Run the OVR dummy. It will say Windows Protect your PC. It's because it's not licensed. Um, this costs money to license your app, so most people don't do it. Run anyway. As you can see, it will say restarting Oculus runtime. Don't bother. Don't, don't, it doesn't do anything. And now you can do run as trackers. As you can see, um... You can see here, it says a lot of text saying like how you can configure this file. And that's what we did when we right clicked it. As you can see here, this has, th these are arguments to say like, let's say this, this Y means that it's a different tracking space. Like perform tracking and over your test in, instead of Steam VR. This is what we changed. Well, this is one of the things we changed so that it works with virtual desktop correctly. Anyway. You're basically good to go. If you you can check if it recognizes all your trackers by starting Steam VR, and if it wants to pop up, as you can see, it says here, CS Simple Controller Driver two times in a row, and and creating object tracker. This means all three of your trackers are in working order. And that's what you want. Now you wait for Steam VR to pop up, and as you can see here. <laughs> My CV1 is still plugged in, so see three fully functioning trackers, and that's it. You're good to go. Just calibrate them using uh, PlaySpace OpenVR PlaySpace Calibrator, and you're good to go. Like as easy as that.